let the peace, love, and blessing of the Almighty God be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. When a man fights against God, everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. Golden text, Acts chapter 5, verse 39. But if it be of God, he cannot overthrow it, lest, if aptly, ye be found even to fight against God. Quote, Beloved, this gospel intends to reveal to you that quite often we fight against God in an attempt to correct one another. If we look around, most of the things we do in the world today amount to fighting against God. But we think that we are mending. Today, a child is fighting against the mother, father against child, and so on, all in a wrong attempt to correct one another. The party that fails in the process accuses the other of using means. How true is this accusation? This other person who succeeds does not use means. He is simply directed by God. While the one who was fighting against him was fighting against God. We suffer because we disobey God. Very often, God asks us to give something to somebody. Perhaps the person hates us. And whereas God wants us to love him, instead we refuse, and as a result, what a loss and defeat we suffer. Very often too, our own spirit is speaking to us, but we turn to listen to the flesh instead, thus fighting against God. Lest you be found willingly fighting against God, Leave everybody to his own way and take everything as you see it. Good or bad, allow any event to come off naturally. None can obstruct God. If you are told that thieves are coming to burglar your house this night, do not try to prevent them by going to Nicomansa for protection or go packing your things to somebody else's house. If you are told that you will be ill, do not buy medicines to prevent it. Thus, by not allowing anything to worry your mind, you will have peace. As long as we cannot prevent death, we cannot prevent anything from happening, for everything, including death, is God's work. None can obstruct God in his work. None has ever done it since creation. God does everything in the way he thinks best. While man is ignorant of what is good or bad for him, God knows and does what is best for man. Our only obligation should be for us to surrender completely to God's will. Man's continuous attempt to choose what is good for himself has often plunged man into regrettable mistakes and endless troubles. God makes no mistakes. God himself does not make mistakes, has no trouble or difficulty whatsoever. If he promises to give you money, you will have it. If he wishes to take all your wealth from you, he can do so very easily. Nobody can prevent him. This being true, we should always say, may God's will be done. Else, we shall be found like our forefathers, unwillingly fighting against the Holy Spirit. Illustration. A certain young king asked and obtained from God 
a dog that could foretell the future. One good year, the dog said to his master, Thieves will burgle your palace tonight, sir. The king was very much disturbed. Without asking the dog what should be done, he set about gathering heavy bodyguards, soldiers, and watchmen around himself. When the thieves came, they were chased back, and the king was very happy. Two years later, the dog said again, Master, fire will consume all your things tomorrow. And again, without asking what should be done or what future such an incident was destined to bring, the king packed around himself a salvage party of fire brigades. He placed fire extinguishers in every home throughout his kingdom and asked all his subjects to stand by for an emergency. In time, the fire burst out and was immediately put out through the mobilized operation by his subjects. No damage was done to life or property. Again, the king was happy. But after another two years, an announcement that put the king at his wit's end came. Master will die tomorrow, announced the future telling dog. Looking sorry, yet announcing it clearly with his usual convincing tone. What? The master asked. What shall I do, dear dog? Nothing, replied the dog and adding that you would be wise to have asked what should be done in the case of the thieves and fire, and you would have been advised to let your riches go, for only by that means did God plan to take away your present riches so that your life might be spared to hoard and enjoy more riches afterwards. But you did not allow it. See whether you can save your life now. The prediction that came true. The king could not save his life. He died the next day as predicted. My dear brethren, if that young king had known that the thieves and fire were God sent prevention against his death, he would not have looked for soldiers, fire brigades, and guards to protect his wealth. He would have allowed thieves to steal and fire to burn his property, but the fact that he prevented them caused him a lot of uneasiness, left him no peace, and finally earned him his death. Read the lesson. Golden text, Acts chapter 5 verse 39. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest, if aptly, ye be found even to fight against God. The above text and illustration are for us to see how disastrous it is to fight against God by trying to obstruct whatever he sends us daily as our own lot in life. It may be our lot to be involved in a court case, imprisonment, or suffer losses by thieves or fire, or ill treatment by fellow creatures. Whatever the case, we should not complain or find fault with anybody. Leave your wife, husband, and child to his or her own way and do not be worried about how to prevent anything happening to you, else you would be fighting against God. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.
Thank you.